guys it's l james makeup here and i'm just going to be showing you how to do this super spooky super glam fortune teller look so if you want to see how i do this please keep watching so to start off with we're going to do brows and we're going to use the purse soap and as you can see i'm just going to spray this with some water you can just use whatever you want to spray yours with like setting spray or whatever but i find that water works fine and I'm just basically going to rub that into the soap and then it makes a little paste and that is what I'm going to be brushing through my brows. So once I'm happy with the shape, I'll just rub my finger over the brow and I find that it stays that way, like a really nice fluffy brow. Then going in with the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil and this is in the shade 3. So it's just a really lovely warm brown shade. And as you can see, I'm just doing little hair like strokes running through my brow um, just for a more fluffy natural brow as that's what we're going for today. Then going in with the NARS Soft Matte Concealer and I'm taking the two shades Ginger and Custard. I actually mix these two together to get like a really nice medium creamy colour. Um, as you can see, it's super thick, super full coverage. This is one of my favourite concealers to have out the brows um, and also to use on the rest of the face as well. But I'm just taking a little flat brush um, just to give us that really nice structured underbrow but fluffy on top of the brow. That's not my favourite brow to do ever. <laughs> Then laying that all over the lid to get our eyes prepped, ready for eyeshadow. Then going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. This is the Jackie Aina palette and this is absolutely beautiful. Like the range of shades, the actual eyeshadows themselves. Like this was my first time using this palette and honestly they blend like an absolute dream. So the first shade I'm going in with is Big Wig, which is just a really nice deep purple shade. And as you can see, I'm just really packing that on into my crease. Then blending out with the shade Pinker on a little bit of a fluffier brush just to like blend that shadow out. And then going in with the shade Supreme, which is just like a really nice light baby pink on a really big fluffy brush to blend that out even more. Then going in with the Barry M and these are the eyeshadow toppers. This is in the shade 4 which is Stardust. These are unbelievably good for the price. Honestly they're so cheap but they make eyeshadows super super pigmented. So as you can see I'm taking the two shades um, Shuckington and Trust Issues. And as I'm patting it on top it almost makes the shadow like metallic looking and really really reflective. Like it just brings that out the shadow really well. Then to prep our eyes for eyeliner, with eyeliner sorry, for our eyelashes, I'm going in with the NYX Matte Liquid Liner in black and this is nothing crazy, just doing like a really nice simple straight line. Then for our waterline, we're going to go in with the Urban Decay 24 Hour Liner and this is in Psychedelic Sister. So as you can see, it's just a really pretty purple colour again. I thought this suited the look really well and these are super blendable. So I just took a little bit of Big Wig, which is that purple shade, and I actually blended that out underneath the eye just to finish off the eyeshadow. Then to prep again for lashes, we're just going to run some mascara. So I use the NARS Climax Mascara, which is amazing. It's super black, super pigmented. And then for our lashes, we're using the Duo Lash Glue. And I'm just going to stamp them onto my eye using my little lash tweezers and really squeezing that onto my lashes. I find that these um, really, really help when applying lashes, especially if you have acrylics on like me. And then now I've done that eye, I'm going to magically do the other one and ta-da! <laughs> if only it were that easy to do eyeshadow, but yeah. Now we've done the eyes, we're going to move on to face. So I'm starting off with the NARS Longwear Foundation in the shade Stromboli, which is just a really lovely, like a caramel tan shade. And I'm just basically blending that all into my face. Then going in with the NARS Creamy Concealer and I use the shade Truffle. This is going to contour. I really like the shade because it's really warm, it's not too dark and I think these concealers blend unbelievably easy. Like they're an absolute dream to blend. Really pigmented as well though and literally as you can see I'm just using a little fluffy brush but the concealer does all the work for itself. So I applied this to my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my chin and a little bit on my jawline. So you can just apply it to anywhere that you want to make smaller or contour or anywhere you like looking a bit more bronze. And I bl blended all that in with a fluffy brush um, but for my nose I just take a little bit of a smaller brush so I can be a little bit more precise and I don't ruin our eyeshadow or anything like that. Then going in with the Benefit Bronzer in Hula Caramel. 
I'm just taking a big fluffy angled brush and just patting that over the places where we just applied our creamy concealer just to set and add a little bit more depth to our bronzer and contour as well as you can see pulling some funny faces but yeah this is just how I do my nose contour then for lips, I thought it'd be cool if we did like a really nice purple um, lip colour to go with our fortune teller look. So that is actually the same um, Psychedelic Sister liner from Urban Decay. So I lined my lips with that, filled it in and then I actually took the shade Trust Issues and patted that all over my lip um, just to give it that kind of like metallic lip colour again. Now onto the fun bit, <laughs> I'm now going to draw my third eye on my forehead. This is definitely not the best eye I've ever drawn, but do you know what, just draw any kind of eye you want to draw. So as you can see, I just mapped out the shape with my little brow pencil. I painted it white in the middle with some concealer and then I just drew the actual shape of the eye and patted white eyeshadow in the middle because I actually am going to be wearing white eye contacts. Then whatever we did on the eye, we're going to do repeat to this one, we want them all to match. So taking them same shades again, we're just going to blend out the pink, add a little bit of purple, add a little bit of that um, Barry M glitter onto the lid. And yeah, we're basically just doing the same as what we did on the other eye as well. So I'm just adding that liner underneath to outline the actual eye. And I attempted to do some lashes with my MYX liner, but this was just <laughs> this was just a really big fail. So I actually finished off the eyeshadow. I dragged that eyeshadow purple down, um, and I actually stuck a real eyelash on. Um, I think this added a little bit more depth as well because it was like 3D. It was quite cool. And then I decided I was going to add a little bit of shadow underneath my eyes as well. So I just get a little small brush, um, taking the shade big wig and pinker and I basically just dragged that down and then added a little bit of those eyeshadow toppers on top of that line as well. Now I've added my contacts as you can see and then I just got a little black headband added that on and added all of my jewellery and yeah this is the finished look guys. I really really hope you liked it, I hope it was easy enough for you guys to follow. Um, please make sure you do like and subscribe if you really did like this video and yeah leave a comment let me know if you guys are going to recreate this look i hope you're all having a good day and thanks so much for watching bye